Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be using, I will be doing a first aid um, or external anal, analgesic first aid antiseptic um, review. And this is for from Cutter by MD. This is what it looks like. This actually came from in here. And it's gotten kind of icky, if you can see that. <laughs> because it has been severely used. Um, after this review, I'm actually going to throw it out. So anyway, um, I'm gonna give you some information here, and then we're gonna I'm gonna share some experiences. Okay, so it has fast relief, stops pain, relieves itching, reduces inf infection, convenient stick, soft tip, three in one formula. What I would suggest though is that um, I would say dedicate one tube per family or per member. I mean per member of the family because I I didn't know if this is gonna work or not. I only got one. I tried it on my son, I sh um, my husband also used it for like insect bites and, and mosquito bites. And then I tried it on me, um, it does work. It really does work, like you, it gets numb and you don't get to feel it. So that's really, really amazing. Um, the, the thing that I don't like though is that I get really impatient and it doesn't come out really as quick and I can't adjust the um the medicine to come out so that's the part i don't like so it has benzocaine five percent chem four three percent phenol 1.35 percent um so it suggests to first clean the area you want this to apply on in case you have any sunscreen or lotion or anything on there like sweat or your regular skin oil um what i mean by regular skin oil is like your skin is probably going to you know um exert or express some oil from your pores and sometimes that can be a barrier between your medicine going on your skin so you might want to just clean it off just in case and then apply this one on um if you don't want it to get rubbed off i would suggest put a band-aid over it because it's kind of a kind of a thick kind of a gel type consistency it's not the same as like a first aid like a neosporin it's not like that thick but it's not as watery as water either it's in between and it could get rubbed off so it's either you just don't touch anything and not move or you can put band-aids over yourself that's another thing but if you're highly covered like what are you gonna do use 50 boxes of band-aids so um it's also best to prevent but sometimes the, those suckers just keep on sucking right so highly recommend i give this a um five out of five stars I'm, yeah, five out of five stars, two thumbs up. And the great thing is it's very convenient because you can pop it in your purse and just rub it whenever you're on the go. Um, I would suggest keep one per family. I also do suggest keep one in the fridge just because it has like camphor and it's an anti-itch. An anti-itch from when I was talking to my dermatologist. Um, you know how other people say, when my therapist says this. My go-to doctor is dermatologist. So um, my dermatologist, dermatologist said that if you have anything that's regarding like a skin issue, like itchiness or burning or um, stinging, the um, the medicine, either prescription or over the counter, you should put it in the fridge because it will actually keep your, like the uncomfortableness go away longer because the medicine is there and it, it just kind of makes, it prolongs the, the function of the medicine. I didn't really understand that until I tried it and it does work. It does work. If you have medication, any kind of medication for that kind of situation, I just put everything in the fridge. There's a there's actually a section in my fridge that's just first aid because of that. <laughs> um, so I do recommend this. And again, the only thing I don't like is this is super hard. It just, I wish I could squeeze it out. Um, I just wish I could squeeze it out and I'm going to open it for you guys. And I'm trying to be very careful. And that's what it looks like. It's gotten a little dirty. But that's what it looks like. And then you... It's like one of those... You know those um, squeezable glue? But it's not squeezable. It's the same concept when it they have like that soft tip. And, and it oozes out, it's the same concept. The only problem is like, it's just not squeezable. And I think they, they're worried you're gonna overdo it 
but I feel like if you don't make it into the same container as a squeezable glue, a little bit harder than that, but not this hard, I think it should be okay. So I really recommend this one if you also, you know, have that. My husband is the most itchy of all of us. Like if he has an, an insect bite, he definitely scratches it really, really hard. Like sometimes the medicine won't work anymore because his entire arm, let's just say the bug bites right here. Like he'll scratch it so much, like it will become this big. It's so gross. So as much as possible, I try, you know, to have us all of that. And I, fortunately so far, oh, my son doesn't really do that. So I really want to prevent him from scratching so much because it's really, you know, it just makes things worse. If you guys have suggestions or anything in regards to first aid, especially for, you know, bug bites or anything, let me know down in the comment section below. I love trying different things. I mean, if it works better for me and my family, why not? Um, if you have other questions about this, let me know in the comment section below as well. Anything else, guys, if you want to chit chat, you got, you got tips, questions, um, comments, anything, comment section below where you can get this in the best possible price in the description section, including all my social media accounts. So don't forget to check that out. Thank you guys so much for the love and support and the wonderful, beautiful words. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and don't forget to keep smiling. Thanks guys. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.